Uh, I wanted to ask, so I feel like I'm losing deals through the process and just people don't get responsive or it's like something happens um, more than I should be. Is that, I mean, I know that's happens a lot, but like I got a lot of things in the works and I talk to people and they're like, they're ready for it. I shoot them a contract and I don't hear back or, you know, we get a rough agreement on terms and then I'm calling them for a while and I never hear anything back. Um, what's the best way to reduce that or is that just to be expected? Well, there's, there's several things. <clears throat> and frankly, we've had some of that in our own housing business here lately. Some of it though, in fact, a great majority of it is attributed, we believe, to what's going on in the economy. People don't know, are we gonna be locked up? Are we gonna be locked down further? Are we gonna be let out? What are, you know, are we in Georgia, are we in California? What's going on? Um, and so, you know, one day they may say, yeah, we're interested in selling. And the next day they may say, well, maybe we better stay. And once we get some certainty in the market out there, in the economy, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter whether it's good certainty or bad certainty, but as long as people can look at the horizon and see a horizon and not see mountains and ridges, then that will flatten out and go bye-bye. Now, there are other things that you can do, and I'll, you know, I've, uh, Blair or Ashley talked about, there are things you can do you know, on the call to not let that thing slip between your fingers. But the, the ones that are based on the economy, stay with those guys because that, that will change. And it's everybody's perception of the landscape. Is it horizontal? Is it vertical? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs>